Listen, time is short. We know that. Turn on the news. All kinds of possible events coming in our very near future. And we want to be ready for this. You know, we want to stockpile, have lots of food. And you know what? This video is dedicated to that. Five things you can stockpile right now very quickly to quickly build up your prepper pantry. Number one is canned food. So important, so tasty, and in many cases, so nutritious too, but so inexpensive. As long as the seals on the can have not been ruptured, the can will last indefinitely, practically speaking, a lifetime. So stock up a lot on canned food, lots of varieties. Now you can also go with like freeze-dried food, and we have that too, lots of freeze-dried food, but in price comparison wise, you can't go wrong with lots of canned food. Number two, rice. Everybody knows rice is a big thing to stockpile, and that's true. And we think you have to go to like Costco or Sam's to be able to get those giant bags. That's not true at all. Here you can see Walmart has all kinds of rice, including this 20 pound bag for 11.14. And guess what? If you buy it from Costco or Sam's, it's just a little bit cheaper, but at Walmart, you don't have to pay the membership dues. Now, what we do is we take these old two liter bottles, they used to have like some seltzer soda water in it, rinse them out, clean them out. And we take the rice and just fill this to the brim and we pull them out whenever we need it for the pantry and we to rotate our stock. But the rice will last in this indefinitely as long as you keep it in a cool, dry place. No oxygen absorber needed. You do have to think about rice weevils, though. If you were worried about that, you can take the bags of rice and freeze them ahead of time for a few days, take them out, let it dry, then put it in. But honestly, we don't care. We simply take it like this. When we make the rice, if there are weevils, which is pretty darn rare, we simply just scoop it up top of the water and we're good to go. So rice, a really good thing. Number three, dried beans. I used to like buying giant bags of dried beans from like Sam's Club or Costco, but I find that most clubs don't even carry any at all. Sometimes you do find pinto beans, but that even that's becoming rare. You don't have to have a membership for this either because lots of stores, your regular grocery store, or even in this case, Walmart has a very wide variety of beans. Get whatever you want in your dried beans. I mean, you can even get right here, this 20 pound bag for 15 bucks and such a huge selection from whatever store you choose to get them from. But I like to take them to put them in food grade buckets. That's what I do. Now, between rice and beans, you do have to put a lot of heat in them to prepare them. That's a downer, but they do provide all the essential amino acids you need to sustain life. They do not, however, sustain you with all the essential fats. You need essential lipids too. And that's why I like to supplement with a canned food. So, so far, these three things work very well. Number four, sugar. Now, in our household, we do not use a lot of sugar. We have it, though. And one of the big ingredients, obviously, for baking is sugar, and it is actually a staple for most people's homes, I believe. So buying it in bulk, also a great idea. It stores nicely, very easily. You don't have to do a lot with it, which is great. I like to transfer it from the paper packages and put it in a Mylar bag or, again, a food-grade food bucket, and you'll be good to go, and it'll store like that indefinitely. And same thing, I'm certainly not pushing Walmart, but obviously you can get a lot of cane sugar there or even your grocery store too. One place I like to get it, however, is Azure Standard. Azure Standard has delivery sites across the country. We'll talk more about that in a minute. And they have lots of things like, for example, not just sugar, but organic sugar at a really good price. And number five, flour. And just like sugar, Flour is often a staple in people's homes, used a lot for baking. And of course, we're talking about crap, it's the fan. You want to be able to continue on making food for you and your family or whoever's doing the watches and security around your house. Think about it that way. All right, but there's a problem. When it comes to flour, it, regular flour does not store long term. We're talking about not even a year because the fats in the flour will make it go rancid. And a quick side note, you can eat rancid food, by the way. It's not poisonous to you, but it will make your stomach upset. It'll decrease the nutrition level. Just doesn't taste very good. And who wants that? Now, I know a lot of people take their flour and store it in their freezer. It works very well. But personally, I don't like storing flour in the freezer, at least for long term, because you know what? You can only store so much there. Maybe you have some type of solar generator to keep your freezer going. But personally, I like to reserve my freezers for that time for like the deer for my backyard I plan on eating, not flour. There's a much better and much easier way to store flour, and that's actually in the form of wheat berries. The flour only lasts less than a year. Wheat berries will store indefinitely. You don't even need an oxygen absorber. So we buy giant bags of wheat berries, and sometimes where we live, we get them from the Amish community. But again, sometimes we go to Azure Standard and get giant bags of it. Here is some organic hard white wheat. And one more thing about Azure Standard we do love, they do sell a lot of these things and the shipping, you do have to pay for shipping, but it is minimal because instead of actually just trying to ship it through like UPS or the post office, et cetera, they actually have dedicated trucks going around the country and going to what are called drop sites. There's probably one near you. 
And so when you actually pay for shipping, you're doing a combined shipping with you and anybody else who's actually has stuff on that semi load. And it's incredibly inexpensive in comparison getting other places, including Amazon, by the way, if you're an Amazon shopper. So I put a link below for Azure Standard. It's 100% free to sign up and check it out. You can see all the prices and you can even see how much it would cost to go to a drop zone near you. Now, when it comes to wheat berries, wheat berries are great. Obviously, you need to mill it into the flour when the time comes. So you take it out of the food grade bucket, mill it, and now you have flour when you need it. And for that, we have what's called a Wonder Mill electric mill. There's lots of mills in the market, but we love our Wonder Mill. It'll process practically anything. I mean, you name it, corn, wheat, rice, legumes, beans, even small grains like quinoa and amaranth, even salt if you wanna break it down too. And I'll link the Wonder Mill down below if you wanna pick one up. It's worth its weight in gold, by the way. Very simple to use and great. But you know what? The Wonder Mill does take electricity. What are we gonna do when crap hits the fan? There's no power grid. Well, we do have solar generators, so we can actually use our Wonder Mill in luxury, but you can also buy a Wonder Mill Junior. We have one of these too, just in case there's no electricity, and you can actually mill all your own wheat using this instead of using the one for electricity. And again, I'll link these below in case you want to pick these up. Always really good things to add to your stockpile and your prepper gear, so that way you can keep on going. All right, so we're set. Five things you can really stockpile fast, and that's what the key is because time really is short. I like these five things. What would you add to the list? Put it in the comments below. And as always, everybody, have a great day.